Hey, what's going on my friends? Patrick here. Got a quick little tutorial for you today. Now most of us know how to screen record on a Mac using QuickTime, but let's say you want to screen record while also recording the internal audio from your computer or the playback from your digital audio workstation. How do you do that? It is a little bit of a tricky setup, but not to worry, I've got you covered. So if you wanna record any kind of content where you're showcasing a recording session in your DAW, or you wanna record a tutorial, this setup will allow you to do that. Plus, I'm gonna show you how to record your voiceover while you're screen recording, so everything will be recording all at once. But let's jump into the tutorial. Now the first portion of this setup, I've gotta give credit to Think Media for helping me figure this out. Great channel for YouTubers and content creators of all kinds, definitely check it out. But step one, first thing you need to do is download the Black Hole Virtual Audio Driver. Completely free download, no strings attached. I got a link for you in the description of this video. But you wanna come down here, click on Download Installer, just fill out your email address and your name, click Subscribe and Existential Audio will send you the download link. You'll get an email that looks like this. Click on the link. Of these three download options, go ahead and download the Black Hole 16 channel version. I'm pretty sure any of these versions would work, but the 16 channel is the one that I've tested, so go ahead and download that one. You then wanna run the installer, go through all the steps and install the audio driver. So for step number two, you wanna open up your audio MIDI setup. Just go into Finder, search for audio MIDI setup and open the application. And once the application is open, you wanna come down here to this little plus sign and you wanna create an aggregate device. From there, you want to select use black hole 16 channel, and then click on the word aggregate device and then rename this something like QuickTime player input, a title that's going to help you remember that this is the input that you'll use when screen recording within QuickTime. Next, click the plus sign one more time, but this time you're going to create a multi output device. Now this setting is gonna allow you to output your audio not only to your studio monitors or speakers or headphones, but also to QuickTime. So in your multi-output device, the first thing you're gonna select is whichever audio device you normally use to monitor your sounds. So in my case, my studio monitors here are connected to my Duet USB audio interface. So that's my main audio device. That's the first place that I want audio sent to. And then the second device you are gonna select is obviously the black hole. 16 channel and up here where it says master device you just want to make sure that that first choice you selected in my case again the duet USB you want to make sure that that is your master device lastly you can rename this whatever seems fitting I titled mine screen record with audio per the think media tutorial but once you're done you're just going to close out of the audio MIDI setup now the last step before you're ready to start screen recording, you wanna head into your digital audio workstation. In my case, we're in Logic Pro, and you wanna to go to your audio setup preferences. And wherever you set up your input and output devices, you wanna make sure that your output device is set to that multi-output device that we created in the audio MIDI setup. So if you recall, I named mine screen record with audio, and that is my output device that I am going to use. As you can see here, my input device is still set to Duet USB, so this multi-output device does not affect your input device at all. I can still record and use my audio interface as normal. So when you have that setup all finished, you want to close out. You'll have to excuse the poor iPhone video quality for this next shot. Now, when you open up QuickTime, you go up here to new screen recording. This little menu bar will pop up and you want to go over here to options. And where it says microphone, you want to make sure that you select QuickTime player input. This is that aggregate device that we set up in the audio MIDI setup. So once you're all finished with that, you can close your options menu and you are ready to record. So let's test it out. Well, there you have it. 
screen recording while capturing the internal audio from your computer slash the playback from your digital audio workstation. The audio quality isn't quite perfect, but it definitely does the trick for things like beat breakdowns, tutorials, anything where you're kind of showcasing what's going on in the DAW and you want to play back the sound in real time. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how I am recording my voice right now. Obviously, if you are demoing something in your digital audio workstation, you can't playback and record at the same time. Personally, I like to use the Voice Memos app on iOS. You can see here I've been recording my voice using Voice Memo this whole time. If you have a portable recorder or you like to use a microphone that's plugged into your camera, something like that, that works totally fine too. For me, I just like being able to record with the Shure SM7B while I'm doing these demos and tutorials. So recording into Voice Memos is a nice little workaround that's worked really well for me. But that's going to wrap up today's video, my friends, and this little tutorial. I hope you found this setup useful. Definitely let us know in the comments below if you have found a similar setup or something that works really well for you. But listen, my friends, until next time, my name is Patrick. I'll catch you real soon, all right? Peace.